All right, we're all set to go. I'm going to start. What? I'm, I'm leaving them like this. What do you mean? You know what? I'm getting tired of the purple thing. It's like a purple whatever uh, on the hue control. It's like a... I feel like I'm in some kind of nightclub that I don't even go to nightclubs. What is the... Uh, this is comfortable for me. Why do I got to make the lights look a certain way for, for the, the people? It's bad enough I got this bright one in my face. You know I hate that. It's probably going to give me some eye problems. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I don't care. I'm, I'm taking a stand. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. And today we're going to take a look at what the autopilot experience is like for a new user uh, when you have MFA in the mix. Uh, it's pretty seamless. It's really not uh, a problem at all. But I figure we'll take a look at it and uh, go from there. Yeah, we're going to do the lights my way and see how that works. If, if anyone complains, then I'll let you know. Get Rubik's, solving for the modern workplace. All right, so what I would like to do is kind of show you my current setup here. Um, I added a new user, Clark Kent, right? Brand new. He's got a temporary password. He may also be Superman. We don't really know. And, uh, you know, essentially what we're going to be looking at is going through his first autopilot experience, right? So we have a device, we have it registered, and uh, because this is his first time signing in, <clears throat> we're gonna show the facilitation of changing the password and setting up MFA um, for, uh, for our user here, so let's go. Now I will say somehow we're gonna have to get Clark his password, right? This could either be, uh, you know, through a personal email address at first or provided to him by his manager on his first day. Um, you know, he's going to have to get that temporary password. So that that is a stipulation, right? And however, I would say however your organization delivers, uh, you know, first time passwords to folks, this would be the way to do it. We're going to get into tap eventually, which is temporary access pass. But that'll be in the future. OK, so here I am at the sign in screen. I'm going to sign in as Clark Kent at rubixdev.com. And I need my one-time password. That was my little temporary one here. Let's see if I can get that in. Okay, so it's telling me I have more information required. So first things first, I'm gonna hit next. You see the nice thing is everyone, everything's facilitated from here. So I'm not breaking that user flow. So how are we gonna do this? Uh, we gotta do this on my phone. Well, let's all take a look here. I'm gonna throw out my Android phone here. So you can see on the side. Oh, this is like CGI type stuff here. Okay, so I'm gonna open the Authenticator app. And that was a previous one I have, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna hit add to add the account, worker school. And we're gonna scan the QR code. Uh, so let's hit next on the screen. Next. And let's see if we could scan that. Whoa, look at that. It's real time. Okay, scan that. There we go. So I got Clark Kent account. We're going to hit next. And I'm being prompted to enter 87. Looks good. Success. Done. And I'm required to update my password. So let's go ahead and flip this. We can get rid of the phone for now. And we're going to say current password was that. And our new password will be this. And we should be off to the autopilot races. Let's make sure we hit the ESP and uh, we'll call it a day. Beautiful. This is a really simple one, right? Sometimes they're not all gonna be long. Uh, no, I mean, look, I get this. I, I got asked this question quite a lot, especially showing the autopilot V2 stuff and how does it work? And, you know, we've shown Windows Hello for Business, but I think the question was always, how does it facilitate that new user? You know, what's the experience like if they've never logged in before? And hopefully now you can see it's very smooth, it's very integrated. 
Um, which kind of makes sense because this is an out of box experience. You know, for chances are, if you're deploying a net new PC, it's also a net new user. Uh, hop in the Discord. Let me know if you have questions, and we'll be seeing you.